right now, thanks to Dario Cueto's dial of doom. A guy like that who spends his time on the open road, sleeping under the stars, taking chances every night, he's ready to go at the drop of a dime. It doesn't matter. Tonight's his night. He's in the ring, ready to go. Little to no time to prepare. How does that affect Son of Havoc? Ring the rock! Son of Havoc was born and bred here in the temple, brother. That kid is born the rock, born the roll. He's here to fight. It doesn't matter about getting time to prepare. Clench your fists. Close your eyes and swing for the fences, right? For the first time visitor here Whoa, to the temple. Oh. Son of Havoc in the Mask is a two-time trios champion. He was a part of our first ever broadcast with a win over Sexy Star. Son of Havoc has been a fan's favorite, but Matanza, on the other hand, has been Lucha Underground champion since Aztec Warfare 2. He's been seemingly unstoppable. Devastatingly so. Excuse me, I was just gonna say, Son of Havoc bouncing off the rope to being Matanza and run on me a pigeon hitting a building. Well, at Ultima Lucha Dos, oh! Son of Havoc's journey almost took him to the championship. It was not to be, but perhaps tonight the stars align for the biker from the open road. Hey man, you mentioned something about Matanza getting prepared. You gotta remember, this guy's been tortured, kept in a cage in a dark room for his whole life, banging his head on the wall, eating steel. I mean, he's been preparing for this since day one, don't you think? Yes, but he's also been the longest reigning Lucha Underground champion. And of course, when we look at long reigning champions, oh. we can't help but think of guys like Bruno San Martino and Joe Lewis, but it's a lot harder here in Lucha Underground to constantly maintain your championship status. But son of havoc, maybe three seconds away if the biker from the open road can oh, oh, find oh, oh, a way. Oh. Oh. Hit a right in the nuts. <laughs> I like that so much. Boom. Brother, you might not be able to hold in your title forever here in Lucha Underground, but that's life, man. But if you hold the hearts of the people for as long as Son of Havoc has, hey, people's champion, baby. Now, back to the wrestling. That's what brought us here. What about the strategy here? Son of Havoc obviously is going to have the speed and agility advantage. How does Matanza compensate for that? Brute strength. I mean, opposites attract. There's no way to go, right? Yes. Yang and Yang. But we remember that Matanza had trouble with Rey Mysterio. So Matanza has trouble with Trigger. Oh. Spider opponent. Double stop. Cover. No. Matanza, what's going on? It's kind of like one of them big red oak this trees. This is baby food. And like little son of Havoc's like a little hatchet, try and chop it down. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but you're going to have to come at him with a lot more than that. You'll hear us mention Ultima Lucha. That is our culmination, the apex of year-long rivalries here in Lucha Tennessee. Underground. But that, my friends, is a long way away. Tonight, our first night back, and Matanza picks up right where he left off. Oh! Again. You can hear the arrogance of Dario. We touched on it earlier. Again. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, exactly. By the short and curlies. Matanza maintains control of his opponent by the beard. Now up into a scoop slam position. Matanza places the challenger right onto the ancient Aztec seal. Whoa! Beautifully done. Standing moonsault headbutt. Oh! One. Wow! Our amazingly, athletically gifted and maniacal champion. Wow. Stack Two cover. And three. No. Brother, that was almost like a jujitsu thing there. He hooked his leg and put his knee through his nostril. Count faster. You have to count faster. One thing that we can continue to say that hasn't changed at all, the fans are into the match. The temple full of believers is so awesome. Yeah, it's good to be back, brother. I missed yeah, you. The fans are truly the fourth man in a singles match, of course. The two luchadors, the referee, and then you guys. So would the temple be like the Beatles making music? OK, George Martin aside, Matanza takes the back elbow. Havoc trying to create a little bit of space now, trying to collect himself. Oh. As the recombobulation of Havoc is underway, Son of Havoc goes for the Tornado DDT, but Matanza's wow. core strength is just wow. too much. But wait a minute! Oh. Wait a minute! Havoc tries and hooks in a choke! Matanza's on his feet! He has to hold all of Havoc's 
wait, and the only reprieve for Matanza is the turnbuck. Not yet. Wow, but he's got uh, that in there well, tight. Look at the space. Matanza's shoulder is preventing this from being a full-on choke. That's the only thing saving Matanza. Havoc knows it. Has to get Matanza off of his feet. Wow. Now, Son of Havoc going with what had brought him to the dance. Folks, welcome back to Lucha Underground. Can I make something official right now? Yes, we have our first holy shit moment of the season. <laughs> We've seen Nick Brother. Oh, double stop! Standing! Oh. Is this enough? Trying to alleviate the pressure, rolls over onto his side, trying to stack up his opponent, locking his hands. Anyone that watches UFC or Jiu Jitsu has seen this a billion times. Wow. Wow. The power of Matanza. Havoc slips out now. Vamp, help me out, man. First night back, and I'm already blown up. Yeah, dude. It's a rock and roll show. But I'm just blown away by the strength of Son of Havoc, man. I thought Son of Havoc's time was oh. now, but instead, out of nowhere, cover. has definitely spent some time in the gym learning something. Incredible stuff. You called it. That arm bar, if he would have had that inner hook, he could have popped that socket right off his shoulder. Some may be shocked at Son of Havoc's performance, but others that have watched this young man since day one, they're not surprised. They believed in Son of Havoc, and now tonight, this is together, it. they are all on the motorcycle, headed down the road. Ooh. Oh, that was an ugly shot to the belly button. And if you're just joining us, this match for the Lucha Underground Championship, a result of Dario's style of doom, Son of Havoc, who had the fortunate opportunity, now the fortunate son, is this his night? One, two, no! Wow! I, I mean, where did Matanza pull that from? You know what I mean? Where did he get the energy or, or, or something clicked on side, like, you know, to kick out? And now, Son of Havoc trying to get the believers behind him. You can see how Lucha Underground has impacted so many people's lives. Son of Havoc has been a vital part of that. As now, Havoc stirs to his feet, waiting, positioning. Matanza now Matanza. rises. What does the challenger have in mind? Springboard, flip, roll through. Matanza got out of the way somehow. 